Today, we're going to be doing a DNA model. This time, we're going to be using candy. So, we have these dots, these huge dots over here. And some gummy bears. And some gummy bears. And we have Twizzlers over here. The Twizzlers will be like the DNA backbone, and the dots will be like the nitrogenous bases. If you're unsure or unaware of what these terms mean, go to our previous video about DNAs. DNA also stands for dioxo deoxyribonucleic acid. So let's take some toothpicks, and there's some things you need to remember before we uh, attach them together. There are four nitrogenous bases. So two of them go together, connect together, while the other two connect together. They cannot intersect and connect the other part from the other base. So adenine and thymine connect together, or apples and trees connect together, while cytosine and guanine connect together, or cars and garages. Uh, connect together. So Idant, you're only connecting these ones while I only connect these ones. So there's no confusion. Yeah. So let's start sticking them. So we're, we we cannot do like these two together. We have to do like these two. Like me and Taran are doing. This is apples and tree and Taran is doing um, cars and garage. We're also going to be putting them together. After connecting all of them, we'll share them. We'll share the nitrogenous bases with each other, so we have an equal pair from each side. And also make sure to watch your um, hands and do not and don't put them like this because a toothpick might poke them. Okay, now that we connected all of them like this, we're going to be trading. So I'll give it that one, it don't will give one to me. I'm gonna don't one. I'll take one. You can take one to don't one to me. Um and I'll take this, you can take this one. Okay, so this looks pretty good. It doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be in any order. You, it could be in whatever order you want. Just use your creativity. And it can. And you don't have to put it in a pa pattern. But for me, I'm going to be putting it in a pattern. I'm going to put it much more realistic. All right. So now what we do is we connect them. So we're going to be connecting the nitrogenous bases to the DNA backbone. Or the DNA backbone would be this Twizzlers. Okay. So that's one connected. Next, we're going to have another. So also leave enough room because we will also need to go to the end. You can also put them like this, like over here I had pink, yellow, pink, yellow. Now I'm gonna put yellow, pink. Really doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm done with mine. I'm so about to complete mine. It looks like a straight ladder or a staircase. All right, right now it just looks like a re regular ladder, right? Well, when we twist it, it'll look like a double helix shape or like a twisted or spiral staircase. So I would take both of the ends and we twist it like this. And boom, this is our DNA. It's, it's kind of like, like a staircase, but this time the curve. It's twisted. It's a twisted staircase. In the previous video, we said the DNA has a gene code. So let's write the gene code using some color markers. So let me write all of the, so the red one is cytosine. And because cytosine is C, I'm just gonna write C over there. You see all these orange parts, right? Mm -hmm. That symbolizes for adenine. So you write A over here. Yes. Yeah, so I'll so write A over there. Then you'd also write A over here because this is orange. So A over so here. So you should write um you should write um A in uh, in this color because it's orange. So and then this one A. No, this is this, this is, is orange. So you write A. 
And that's, you're pretty much done with orange. I'm gonna write T for timeline. Okay, so timeline is actually uh, yellow, so you're gonna wanna write a T. So here you'd also write T, because it has a, it's yellow. And here T too. All right, now let's move on to green. Green is guanine, so for every green you see, right next to it, put a G, don't. So I'm gonna be putting a G for green. Yeah. And you forgot here. And. All right. Now, lastly, you have red. Red is cytosine, so you want to put a C. Here. Good. So now you have something you can admire to. All right. Now let's move on to my turn. Let's do the orange part. Orange is adenine, so I'm going to put A over here. All right, my orange is done. Now I'm gonna put yellow. So yellow is thymine, so yeah. Good, now my thymine's done. I'm gonna do green. Green is guanine, so. Good, now that I have my guanine done, I'm gonna get my last one, the red one. Red one is cytosine, so I'm gonna put a C over here. And now you have your whole thing. Now that we have decoded this, let's create our own genetic code. All right, so you don't, you're supposed to go from top to bottom on left and top to bottom on right. Mm -hmm. So we write, so for here you write A, G, T, C, C, T, G, T, yeah, et cetera. This is, my, this is the genetic code for this DNA. This is my genetic code. This is the 3D model of DNA, and let me show you one last time. 